Hello, my name is Frank Chidaki. I'm part of the IBM Cloud team, and I'm here to explain the basics of virtual networking. Virtual networking is primarily used for cloud. That's why it's important to at least understand the basics. So we're going to start off with a couple of concepts within this video that'll explain, well, what are the key components to uh, any given virtual infrastructure, uh, specifically with regards to virtual networking. So we're going to start off by uh, two concepts, really. We have the physical underlay, and we'll talk about that first. And then we have the virtual overlay. So let's start off by talking about the underlay. The underlay is really just the physical infrastructure. It's computers, it's physical switches, it's physical routers. It's just with some specific software to be able to enable the virtual network, which we call the overlay. So let's start off by talking about the underlay. And some of these concepts we'll talk about really kind of lend themselves to both the underlay and the overlay. So first off, with regards to the underlay, we have something called a fabric. So what is the fabric? The fabric is actually all of the physical components uh, required to run, let's say, a single instance of a virtual networking environment or infrastructure. So if we have, let's say, say our three servers and a router we have down here in our physical underlay, really, and anything outside of that, that would really constitute the fabric. Now, there's some variance in this, and as you get in more advanced topics, you'll find out the fabric can extend to lots of things. But for the basics, let's just say it's the physical infrastructure that actually runs your virtual networking infrastructure. And within that, we have something called a TEP. What is a TEP? A TEP stands for Tunneling Endpoint. Okay, a Tunneling Endpoint. And let's just draw in here. We've got our TEP here, TEP here, TEP here. A Tunneling Endpoint is the point at which a virtual network actually touches the physical network when it's going between the devices that actually comprise the fabric. So when a virtual network goes across physical devices, it actually needs to be encapsulated. Think about those Russian dolls, you know, where you open it up and there's another doll, it's kind of the same concept. When it goes onto the virtual wire, excuse me, the physical wire, yeah, it's it's the little dial inside the big dial. The big dial goes across, and then when it hits the next server, you open it up, the little dial and goes to the virtual network, right? So it's encapsulation. <laughs> Pretty basic terms, right? So tunneling endpoint. The next thing we'll talk about is uh, routing, and this could be virtual routers, but it, it's really, at this level, let's talk about physical routers. and bridges. These will appear both in virtual and physical layer because they bridge both. So a router, in this case, uh, this router here in the physical environment, is really the embark, deembark, uh, egress, ingress, in more networking terms, of where the virtual network actually, or the physical network, touches and gets into the virtual network. So this could be this could be one interface that touches the physical network and the other interface is in the virtual network which we'll describe in a minute so it's essential if you didn't have this you'd basically just have a snow globe where every everything could talk to each other but they couldn't get out right so it's essential that we have routers and bridges running at or at least part of running in the physical layer okay so I also like to call the physical layer a big dumb pipe. So basically a network that doesn't really have much intelligence, it just connects everything together. The intelligence we're going to talk about is actually in the overlay. And the overlay is the virtual. Yeah. <laughs> Stay in school kids, you know, don't learn how to write, not like me. <laughs> so the virtual layer is actually where uh, I can be very uh, prescriptive about the networking, the firewalls. I can have much uh, diversity within the topology 
on top of what is a big dumb pipe. I can put all the intelligence in the virtual network and I can have many of these duplicated on the same physical infrastructure. So let's talk about some concepts within the virtual network. Within the virtual network we have segments. So what is a segment? A segment is really just a layer 2 network uh, on its own. Uh, so it would be a, a equivalent to having a switch here and a switch here. If they're not connected, maybe they're connected by a router. Those are segments. The next concept is a transport zone. So a transport zone is a collection of segments. And what does that mean? Well, I may not want uh, my virtual fabric up here, so our virtual fabric. I may not want that virtual fabric to, uh, uh, maybe I only want it to go across these two hosts, but not that host. So a transport zone is a way to limit which uh, those segments and this fabric of what um, physical devices making up the physical fabric, what devices they can actually run across. And then finally, or not finally, we have our old friend routers and bridges. So again, routers and bridges would really be the virtual point. Um, we could also, within the fabric, we could have a pure virtual router. So if I wanted, wanted a route between different segments and not really traverse out of the virtual network, I have a purely virtual router and then I can uplink to a physical router, which allows us to de-encapsulate the packet. Remember our, our friend Tep over here, which is doll inside of a doll. I could de-encapsulate the packet and allow it to traverse out onto the physical network to get to the internet or another site, et cetera, right? And then actually there's one more concept, which is called micro segmentation. Wow. Micro-segmentation, what is that? Well, that means I can firewall because all of this is really running on top of another operating system, which is down here in the physical layer. It means I can insert all kinds of services in the network fabric that makes up the overlay. And so one of those things can be a firewall. So I can firewall traffic between VMs on the same segment if I wanted to. So it's akin to having a physical switch port where every a physical computer you plug into that port is firewalled off from every other port. So you can configure exactly what type of traffic you want to traverse across your fabric. And there you have it. Those are the basics of a virtual network. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please drop us a line. If you like this video, you want to see more of these videos, be sure to like us and subscribe.